Hello everyone and welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. This is episode 8. Last time we completed Tadayori's tale, the legend of Tadayori, and we retrieved his archery-related armor, and then we also liberated Uzmo Bay, and that is where we find ourselves after slaying four Mongol leaders. We will now be doing some tales nearby and making our way back up north. So let's have a chat with this guy who's freaking out. Lord Sakai, a moment, please. It's important. Yes. What is it? Not out here, my lord. This way. My name is Yo. This is my shop. Are you trying to sell me something? Oh, no, my lord. Ah, here should be fine. No one's listening. Tell me what this is about. My neighbor, Haruo, he's acting suspicious. He sneaks out of town at sunset, gone for hours, comes back at dawn. Last night I followed him. He went to a burnt out house by the cemetery and met bandits there. Bandits? That can't be good. I'll find this house and learn what they're up to. Honor buried deep. So his neighbor, my lord, his neighbor was doing something last night while this place was under Mongol occupation too, I suppose. So investigate the home by the Uzumo Cemetery. Okay, off we go. Oh, the double faint. He's gonna try, he's gonna double faint me. Okay. You're about to get triple standoff. There we go. I just cleaned my sword. Oh, nice clean cut. No blood on it this time. Merchant Nazamo said his neighbor met bandits here. Seems deserted. I'll have a look around. Lots of ashes. Campfire's been used many times. Old bandages. Not much blood. Minor wounds. Someone's meal, eaten recently. The merchant was right to be suspicious. Need a place to hide. Wait for the merchant's neighbor and his bandit friends to return. All right, hide and watch the house. At least we're not tracking footsteps today. Any trouble getting out of Hazamo? No, but I saw Mongols on the roads. I think they're looking for us. 
We should hurry. What did you bring this time? The statue of Inari. Oh, that's valuable. I'm surprised the Mongols didn't take it. Let's bury it with the rest. Thieves. Need to see where they take things. Keep your eyes open for trouble. How are the others? Hiding. Mongols rode by the house a few times. So far, everyone is safe. You hear that? Horses! Mungo! Hide! Almost there. The sooner we're off the road, the better. What happened to Tamon? The Mongols impaled him on top of an anthill. He screamed for an hour. That's horrible. It is interesting when it's like, they're like, I hope the samurai wins, but then we're also currently trailing them for their potential wrongdoing. Let's hurry and finish this. What are they doing? I hate burying me naughty like this. Better in a grave than a Mongol ship. They don't sound like thieves. What a noise. Show me. Hurry up. Somebody. Oh. It, I thought it was weird. Because it was like, better see what they're doing. And I'm like... Naughty like this. Better in a grave than a Mongol ship. They don't sound like thieves. The way that it was like, they don't sound like thieves. I'm like, it seems like they could potentially like... Hurry up! Something's not right! Just like, approach them. Sounds like you've had enough to drink. <sighs> yeah. Inari is safe. That's enough. Don't move. Dad! I knew we'd been followed! Wait. It's the samurai. I'm glad it's you, my lord. That's a strange reaction from a thief. We're not thieves. You drove the Mongols from Azamo Bay. But what if they come back to raid us? We're hiding the most important things from our shrine. Just in case. Totoro! Kihei! Come quick! Ukong, you shouldn't have left the others. It's funny how you can't just like walk up to them and confront them. <laughs> There, you just have to wait like five seconds and then confront them. <laughs> Our people are trapped. They will be killed. How many Mongols? I couldn't count them all. <laughs> Which of you can fight? Me and Kihei. You're with me. You two get in the house and protect your people. With what? Everything you've got. Mongols! They're coming from all sides. Attack! What's it? Starja! Change stance, please. <laughs> All coming. We should have run. You're not giving up. You're going to die. We're not warriors. Don't 
Sometimes I like press the button to change stances, and I think that I have, and it doesn't switch over. Did the bastards get in? No, you kept them away. Not us. It was Lord Sakai. All the time fighting battle. How can normal people like us? Please! I'm nobody! Who are these people? Travelers fleeing the Mongols. People who lost their homes. And you protected them. We tried. You're not hiding those valuables so you could steal them later. No, my lord. We're not trying to get rich. After seeing what the Mongols have done, we only want to help. Then huh. help me lead these people to Azomo Bay. You'll all be safe there. Stop! I know bandits when I see them. You're not welcome here. They're with me. These people need shelter. Even the bandits. My lord, they can't be trusted. They fought to defend these people. They'll hope you hold this town. As you wish, my lord. Open the gate! Let everyone inside! I don't know how to thank you, Lord Sakai. Protect Azamo like you did those people. I promise I will. And make sure they know where to find what you buried when the Mongols are finally gone. You can count on it. Thank you for this chance to prove myself. Honor buried deep. It makes sense. Charm of broken barriers. Okay, what have we got next? We can head towards our Kenji tail, so we'll do a healer's touch, which Sushima has. Too few healers for all the sick and injured. It's dangerous for them to travel to the camps when they are most needed. I should help them when I can. Let us search for this healer. There's a man, my lord, swinging his sword, slashing the air on the beaches of Sutsu. Another survivor? Or a bandit? I don't know. But I think he was crying. Just slowly cooking my horse. I was like, here, I'll stop right in front of the, uh, of the bonfire. Nope, we'll just spawn right on top of it. How dare you hit my horse? For that you die. What does our sweet bird want today? Where are we going on this beach? Look at them crabs. So many crabs! A 
Chikorin headband. Warrior's mind is quiet but alive, like rustling bamboo. Thanks, bird. Hot springs here too. Let us reflect. Oh, feels like I haven't slept in days. If only I had time for a short nap. This is what you're doing right now. Have a nap in the hot springs. Nothing wrong with that. And then we get killed by Mongols having a very vulnerable rest. My lord, will you please help me? What is it? I have to get to a camp in the woods, occupied by people who are seriously ill. They need a healer. The area is overrun with bandits and Mongols. Yes, I'll need protection. I can get you there. But this sickness concerns me. You're sure you can fight it? Sickness isn't something you fight. It's something you have to care for. If the people are as ill as you say, we should leave now. Stop the sickness before it spreads. Thank you, my lord. I shot a healer's touch. How did you survive the battle at Komoda? It was thanks to a woman, Yuna. She rescued me from the beach, nursed me back to health. She sounds like a gifted healer. She's one of the bravest people I know. I wouldn't be here without her. My mother did the same for me. As a boy, I was... <laughs> I'm surprised that the dialogue kept going there. As a boy, I was... I was like, oh, I kind of wanted to get this shot. Something about it with the sunrise that just is uh, very poignant. All right, we're just gonna restart from the checkpoint there because my photo mode interrupted dialogue. How did you survive the battle at Komoda? It was thanks to a woman, Yuna. She rescued me from the beach, nursed me back to health. She sounds like a gifted healer. She's one of the bravest people I know. I wouldn't be here without her. My mother did the same for me. As a boy, I was always sick, but through her knowledge of herbs, she made me strong. She's the reason I'm a healer. Wait, I think I see something up ahead. Good eye. Stay back. Let me handle it. Where are you? We don't have <coughs> Fight me! Beautiful sunset for a standoff. Sorry, Mighty Samurai, you said. Hmm? Anyone else? Hmm? What say you? Okay. Brave of you. You shouldn't be traveling here alone. We had to leave our farmstead, my lord. Everyone there is sick. What brought it on? Spirits, our ancestors are punishing us. We gave the Mongols our food instead of fighting back. When they left, everyone grew ill. Now our home is cursed. There's an inn just down the road. You should be safe there. It's much too dangerous outside. Get indoors and stay there. Thank you. I only hope the spirits don't follow us. Quite 
quite the butcher with that sword. <laughs> the bandits would have killed those people. You don't know that. You could have tried talking to them. It would not have helped. You know that. You ask for my protection. Forgive me. My life's work is to heal the body, not destroy it. Two fundamentally different approaches. A warrior and a healer. Faster, Kage! Healer! Healer! Thank goodness you're here! Homeo, what is it? What's wrong? It's my son. I think he ate something poisonous. Take me to him. What about those suffering at the camp? We've already delayed. It will only take a moment. I'll help. Perhaps we can make this quick. Thank you, my lord. Jin is so impatient. He's like, but what about the other people? It's like, everyone needs healing. You can't turn a blind eye. Right in front of the mother, too. He's just like, fuck that. I don't care. <laughs> Who cares about this kid? We have to hurry. What did he eat? I wish I knew. We have no food. I'll see if I can find what it was. Thank you, my lord. Nothing but boiled water. Oh, well. Hello. Wild mushrooms. Half eaten. This must be it. I should tell Hanaoka. Dude saw a tree with some mushies on it and went, yum. I'm sure this will be good. Did you find anything? Half-eaten mushrooms. You fool! You know better! He must have eaten them out of desperation. I can make an antidote, but I need river moss. Stay with him. I'll find the moss. some of that river moss. <clears throat> the smell of mildew is thick enough to make you gag. <clears throat> Parkour. My lord, did you find the moss? Here it is. Homeo, listen carefully. Crush this moss, add it to a cup of water and bring to a boil. Have him drink the mixture and he should be fine by tomorrow morning. Those at the camp need us now. Yes, let's go. Thank you for saving my son. You know, that man's symptoms were the same as the couple from the farmstead. Aching, vomiting, labored breathing. Symptoms of poisoning? You think the farmstead was poisoned? I'm almost sure of it. In which case, I'll need tubers to treat them. The moss was fine for that man, but tubers are stronger. They grow at a nearby pond. Let's be quick. Everybody be eating their mushrooms out of desperation. <clears throat> By the pond. Would you like to talk to them? Ask them politely <laughs> to move. I'll leave this to your discretion, my lord. Uh, sassy. 
Sassy Sakai, they Show call me. Speed. The Sassy Samurai Sakai. Get sliced. That was made me dizzy. The camera went all the way around. block those, but I seem to just fucking suck at blocking um, those specific attacks. Oh my god. Especially when, like, you're trying to switch stances uh, on the fly for each one. You can get a little bit hard to manage. Well, there's another one, Jesus. Where you at? Oh, dude. Just like the the arrow coming out of the <clears throat> the grass like that. So it's so satisfying to dodge those arrows. It just looks so cool, like as you like dodge to get to them. There you go. I spoke with them. Over here, my lord. You found the tubers? Yes. Thanks to you, I'm able to harvest them. It's just... Watching you, I can't help but wonder if you enjoy the violence. I kill only to protect our people. I think about that every time I reach for my sword. Of course. I'm sorry, my lord. Let's go heal those who need it. Should be just ahead. Healer, my wife, she stopped breathing. How long has she been sick? Ever since the Mongols came by our farmstead. What did she eat? We had no food, just water from the well. I'm sorry, she's gone. <gasps> <laughs> if only I'd gotten here sooner. You did your best. But maybe if I hadn't delayed, with that couple and that man. If we hadn't stopped, those people would be dead. You also wouldn't have figured out these people were poisoned. Perhaps. But I still don't know how. That man said his wife had nothing but water from the well. And we know people started getting sick after the Mongols left. They must have polluted the well. A contaminated water source would spread sickness like wildfire. But it's treatable? Yes, the tubers will see to it. Then help those you can. Thank you, my lord. You have saved many lives. So sweet, the little shots between Jin and Kage. <clears throat> right, 
What am I putting my points into today? Bro, if you're cold, like, get a little bit closer to the fire, you know? I swear to God. I gotta upgrade my stuff to... Um... A delayed quick attack. You can initiate the pose, striking from the horseback with a triangle, and the perfect dodge to perform a deadly counterattack. Oh, I want to get to that, because that would be good. I just got to work towards it. Um, yeah, let's let's work towards it. I can charge into the enemies while sprinting to knock them backwards. What we can do from here is I definitely want to upgrade our stuff. I'm not sure if I can fast travel to where we're currently at. But I'll make that I'll take that risk. Fast travel. So I can do some upgrades. Bandits, my lord. They took my food. <laughs> Every last scrap. Do you see where they went? Northeast, into the woods. If I find them, they'll regret stealing from you. Please don't harm them. They're just as desperate as I am. No promises. Mm -hmm. Empty baskets. Please don't kill them. No promises. I will do what I must. Immediately, it's just like, standoff. Is there a choice to talk with them? So they're thinking of who to raid. It's an interesting conversation here, though. It seems like I can stealth this, search for the stolen food, <laughs> glazed pork. However, they are, they're going to end up, they're going to end up looting anyway. <laughs> Dude dreaming of food. I could search for the food, I could get the food back. These guys are going to get hungry, and then they'll be pushed to rob someone else. Me trying to see if it's even possible to grab the food while they're all alive. Stop looking at me, eh? Seeing any food? I'm seeing barrels. Searching for the stolen food. Would it not be like hmm. you'd think it would be kept? Oh, here it is. Is it? no? You think it would be kept at the camp itself? Oh, Jesus! Why didn't it? I thought it would be this, but like it didn't pop up until it was right in front of it. So. My God. Right. 
Must be the food they stole. You have to be, like, right on top of it for the prompt to even come up. There you go, you can grab the food without combat, but they are just going to be pushed to rob someone else now that I've taken the food from them. Perhaps even return to the old woman with a vengeance, you know? He did what the old woman asked. My lord, you're back. I have your food. Rice. I don't remember the last time I had rice. You said they stole it from you. Please, for forgive me. You lied to me. Bandits don't deserve food at a time like this, my lord. Besides, I ask you not to hurt them. Luckily, I didn't have to. Oh, thank you. You shouldn't have lied. I still would have helped you. I won't do it again. I promise. Wow. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had rice. Oops. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> I will cut you where you stand. Well, it's a good thing I didn't kill the bandits. Well, the bandits come back for their rice. She brought it upon herself. There you go. Well, I didn't have to kill bandits with their own hard stolen rice from someone else, probably. That's ridiculous. I like it when there's like the unexpected um, outcomes like that, though. I have been deceived. My honor compromised. find a single... Lord Sakai, I think I saw Lady Masako riding for the beach at Komoda. Her husband died there. And her sons. I hear Mongols still hold the beach. I worry for her safety. I worry more for what she'll do to them. But you're right. I shouldn't leave her alone. Oh, okay. Hang on. That's cool. So you actually can have additional tales related to these characters separate to their main storyline. I didn't realize that. That's really neat. So Masako was seen riding at the battlefield of Komoda Beach, a place of unfinished business for her and myself. But Mongols still hold the area. I'll see if I can find her. All the way that way. This is like largely the most unexplored area of the, this part of the island. We're going to head down, however, to do Servant of the People, a Kenji tale. Lord Sakai! Kenji, what are you doing here? Something has gone very wrong, my lord. What did you do? Nothing! The Mongols have taken all our food, rice, millet, fish, anything they can lay hands on. We're starving. You say we. This isn't your farm. I have been thinking about what you said, and I'm trying to help the farmers here. Where are the Mongols camped? Who knows? They show up every few days and pick up the food and cart it away. I could ambush them. It's not that simple. They've taken hostages. If we don't produce the food, it's... There must be a way to find them. There is. You won't like it. I will decide that for myself. Servant of the people. Come, 
I'll show you. They make us bundle the food and put it on the beach. All of it from this farm? The farm? Scavenging abandoned homes, fishing and hunting, just to fill the bellies of the enemy. What brought you here in the first place? Once the Mongols connected me to you, most places got too dangerous. I thought an out-of-the-way farm would be safer. Food and drink for the Mongols, but the sake barrel is empty. <laughs> I'm gonna get smuggled. The plan is to anger the Mongols more? Not exactly. The barrel is very roomy. It could hold a heavily armed heroic samurai. You know what would fit better? A flabby, flexible sake merchant. The Mongols will take the barrel to the heart of their camp. Who could do more good there? Me or you? I don't know why I keep letting you hide me inside things. Because it works. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. It smells like your breath in here, Kenji. Well, that barrel didn't empty itself. Get ready, my lord. Here they come. That's funny. Uh, yes, yes, all yours. Take, take. Master Moriga. No, no, no. Uh, that's Miko. Uh, Miko is my horse. Mine. Nadamatat. More picnic bolso. Ow. Well, I'm gonna get his horse back. You can't do this. Miko, no. So immersive. Hmm. Kenji's plan actually worked. <laughs> oh, oh God, like, does not even get a chance to re <laughs> like immediately just like time to fight? Take one look around and it's already go go go. <laughs> I did as much as I could. Oh, actually, I think I don't think everyone got alerted there. I think we just, yeah, we just managed to avoid everyone getting alerted. That's nice. God, this place isn't even heavily defended. They're just chilling. All right, which ones? Uh, which ones, Miko? I assume it's the one that's like not in in the stable, so it'd be this horse. You gonna you gonna notice your buddy? No. Crazy. All right. This seems like Nico, actually, because it's got all of it's very unique. It's got all of the all of the stuff on there, but I don't think I can I can't mount the horse. But all the other horses have ran. I 
couldn't believe it. We are saved. Take this food back to your farm. Give Kenji the good news. Kenji? Why would I give him anything but a punch in the mouth? What do you mean? He's the idiot who got us into this mess. He tried to cut a deal with the Mongols. Oh, Lord Sakai. That was amazing. Kenji, you suck his swilling piece of monkey dung. I'll handle this. Explain yourself. I might have sold the Mongols food, but given them straw and wood chips instead. To make a profit? To save the farmer's food. You didn't think the Mongols would notice? Mm, not so quickly. All of a sudden, it was punishment, hostages. Give us food or we kill you. I was wrong to encourage you to make yourself useful. What? No, no. No, you weren't wrong, Lord Takai. I can do good. I just need practice. Try not to practice when people's lives are at stake. Yes, my lord. Very nice. Classic Kenji. Reunited with his horse. And then we must find but out. I'm lucky that samurai spared you, Kenji. I'm sorry, Taro. <laughs> I was trying to help. You want to help? Choke on a rice ball. I can tell you don't want to talk about this right now. Goodbye, Taro. Set yourself on fire and mate with a Mongol bomb. <laughs> oh my god. You gonna go get your horse? Yeah, come on. Yeah, I was right. There you go. I wonder if we have to wait for part two of the tale, or whether we can just talk to him here. He's just going to chill. Oh, this sake. Maybe we'll have to like find him at a at another point. He'll like just pop up on the map somewhere for part two. What is he doing this time? <laughs> uh, okay, we have another tale. Down south, we have Lost at Sea. People are afraid of a disturbed man swinging a blade. He could be in some distress, or else dangerous to others. I'll look into it. The Mongols in the armor. Oh, so I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> I gotta swim across. See you later, Kage. I'm going swimming. Let's go and see this dude who's uh, swinging a sword wildly. This man's just having a peaceful time. He's gone to his own island. He's not bothering anyone. Nobody's nearby. Let the man swing his sword on an island in peace. I think that's what we all wish we could do. Hey man, are you busy today? Uh, yes. I am going out on an island and swinging a sword. On my own, actually. He's just vibing. Come on, Otoske. Yeah. Put that down before you hurt yourself. I am sorry if my lack of skill offends, my lord. But I have to do something. The Mongols captured my daughter. Where did the dogs take her? Oh, those are ships. The ones with the Lord's sails. Two vessels. Who knows how many Mongols. You won't stand a chance. I found a boat, a sword. Uh, maybe a friendly samurai can help? Get in the boat and grab an oar. You're too kind, my lord. Just leave the fighting to me. Alright, time to board some ships. Lost at sea. Please, bring Maki back safely. Wait here, we'll return soon.
I tried. <clears throat> you just had to get up at that precise moment, didn't you, sir? I was gonna do something cool. <laughs> what? Oh, man. <laughs> I was trying to switch to my wind stance. <laughs> That's funny. The R2 prompt isn't even there, but like, there it is. Okay. I can jump backwards. That's funny. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> right, off the boat. Off the boat. Come on. You're going off. Come on, let's get him off the boat. No, oh, come on. Wait. Oh, no, they're going in to kill them. I'm trying to have some fun here. Okay, hold on. They're going to kill the daughter. Yeah. Me just trying to kick that one dude off the boat, <laughs> only alerting everyone. Oh god. Alright everyone, relax. Good. Woo! See ya! Oh, <laughs> missing the arrow as I'm putting away my sword. I'm like, I literally can't move. Please don't shoot me in the face, good sir. I think we're good. Um, you stay there for a sec. I'm gonna just check that everything's okay. And by checking that everything's okay, there are still remaining enemies. Send your best warrior. Alright, who is it? Who's your best? There you are. Oh, there's still. Uh, yeah! Excuse me, sir. Where are you going? Right, you've got to be the guy that goes overboard. I'm sorry. Oh. Come on, get off, get off the boat. Come on. God damn it! Come on, go somewhere where I can kick you off the boat. You, you run away. All right, just move away from that plank. We can do this. There we go. Let's battle on here. There we go. This is exactly what I wanted. Hi. There we go. I got exactly what I wanted at the end. Flawless victory. Okay. All right. Couldn't have done that better if I tried. It was perfect. I like that there was some grappling opportunities here. It would have helped if I was aware of those beforehand. There's even one up here. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I wish there was more of those. All right. You're going to be all right. Maki? Yes. Your father's waiting with his boat. Come with me. I'll stay close, my lord. Thank you. You killed them all. They deserve this. I know. I just... I can't believe it's over. See if there's 
there's anything that we can grab while we're in here. Here, Any here. Oh, sense of gods. Get us back to shore. Right away, my lord. You're safe now. I was with them for days, father. Days. I should have come sooner. You both need rest. Get to shelter as soon as you have the strength to run. We will, my lord. Thank you. That was a fun sequence across the boats there. Where will we go, Father? Let me worry about that. The heavenly strike to dismemberment of the arm is such a nice touch. All right. We do have Lady Masako up this way. There's also Komata Town, but we just... We haven't even touched it. We haven't even gone in that direction, so there'll be some interesting things for us to find. Let's see what we can discover traveling to Masako. I've discovered a white dye merchant. You won't find these elsewhere, my lord. I thought all the samurai were dead. Is that any way to greet a visitor? Forgive my manners, my lord. I spend all my time alone. My only company is dyes and brushes, lacquer and cloth. I've perfected a shade of white like sparkling virgin snow in frozen jogaku. Bring me the necessary ingredients, and I will adorn you in white, like death itself. That's cool. Oh, so you can just have, like, straight up white versions of your clothing. You just have to get there. Oh man, I can have the white Ronin attire. We can go Samurai Jack. Yes. My work is impossible. Slay! <laughs> the materials. A pure intent headband and a oh that's cool Surumanako mask worn by the god of thunder. Give me my Tengu mask, my big old nose. Goodbye. That's pretty sweet. All right. So we've got the opportunity for us to uh, dress like Samurai Jack. Just gonna take the uh gonna remove the hat for that. We could, we could do a headband, right? We could get away with a headband. Like death itself. Hell yeah. the view from up here. Good damn. So I guess that's Commodore Town. We've got the lighthouse over there too. It's incredible to be able to go and see the the distance over there too. It looks like there's a snowy region over there. Which I'm quite curious about. Absolutely gorgeous up here. Well, I guess we can go and push in and liberate Commodore Town, but I also was wondering if there would just be any um, tales similar to the one at Azamo Bay. I guess we'll push through it. I am not collecting 80 banners. <laughs> 
Especially if they're going to be like, here's one hidden on a cliff face. I don't think I'm that much of a completionist. Eagle is the third one. All right, hang on. I'll do a standoff. Let me do a standoff. There we go. Who will fight? Oh, there's also one on horseback. Okay. Oh, the double, double faint. Oh, I messed that up. soon. They almost killed me, my lord. Thank you. You're free. Find a safe place to hide. There isn't one. The Mongols caught many of us at the crossroads nearby. They control the whole area. Not for much longer. I'll see to it. Let's continue down the path. Okay. So what's what's this rumored location? This fallen outpost? That's new on the map. You're all we're all the way up here, lady. <laughs> I thought you would have added a place close by. All right, look at this place. If only I could recruit Lady Masako's help to take this place on. She's going on a trip to the beach instead. This is definitely the intended way down. Oh God! Ah! <laughs> Just the fucking slip and slide down the cliff face. Right. You're not allowed to do that. Okay, Jin. You need to be more hesitant before jumping down a cliff. I was walking to the uh, the actual climbable. Part, but that's fine. Okay. We're here. <laughs> Under the cover oh, of dark. He's so full of life. How's this bird going? Interesting. Commodore Town is not Mongol territory. I was expecting it to be. <laughs> God damn, it's so ruined. I came in here stealthy like, thinking that I was gonna have to liberate this place. It's just messed up, that's all. Given another bamboo opportunity. My resolve has never been stronger. I press square instead of X at the end. First try. I almost died as a young boy. You did? What happened? I was playing samurai in the forest far from home. Before I realized it, night fell and a bear found me. How did you get away? 
I was too scared to run. I fell to the ground and curled into a ball. I'd probably do the same thing. What happened next? I heard the bear groan and looked up to see a young samurai defending me. He killed the bear and then carried me home. He was on the beach at Komoda. A good man. He'll be rewarded in the next life. So Komodo Town is just... Trash. It's in ruins. No one is here as a merchant or an armorer or anything. Perhaps we will see that change. Well, I don't have to liberate this town. Beyond Commodore Town, we have our territory to claim. There you go. Who's next? Spearmen. Multiple spearmen. I want to get this timing. Mm. Can you put you surely you can perfectly parry those? You're supposed to roll, Jin. That's how you avoid fall damage. Ah, oh, there we go. I can observe the leader. There we go. It's been so long that I forgot how we do it. So there's a nice little pop-up for it. When we were in um, Azamo Bay last time, I was like, can I just... Do I need to look at him a particular way? But there you go. That's how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> the two just <laughs> jumping out in front of him. Mate, it's dangerous. Nice. We almost have moon stance. There we go. Look at that. Whoop! That's such a good angle. Sometimes you gotta get hit a couple of times to get that parry. I'm like, what? Timing. Never saw me. So I've killed the leader. So where's everybody else? 
is my challenge remaining enemies. <laughs> bellowing the horn, but from where? In here? Okay, you're hiding up here. Where'd that horn come from? Oh, you? I don't know why I didn't see the second guy. I only saw that one. Catch. <sighs> At this point, it's like, where the hell are you? Where is everyone? Show yourself. <laughs> I should have a challenge remaining enemies option at this point. Let's check all the houses. There we go. This is such an interesting attack to go. Hey. I think that that first movement that they're doing is the attack, but it's the second one. Hello. Finally, all shown themselves. As the sun rises. Nice. Alright, let's make our way across to Masako. Just beelining it, cutting down a path straight to her. Genbu's darkness for warriors who celebrate the shadows. That's pretty sick. Genbu's darkness. Alright, you got me. The legendary Genbu. A lot of dead Mongols here. Masako has done her work. <laughs> oh wow, okay, hang on. We gotta fight. Masako! Ready? 
Thank you for that. What are you doing here, Masako? Looking for my family. I already found my husband, but I've yet to find my sons. They died as warriors, defending our home. Did you see where they fell? No. The battle was chaos. I could barely keep eyes on my uncle. Let me help you find them. A mother's peace. Come. I still need to search this part of the beach. Look, over there. One of your soldiers? Yes, but alone. Do you think he deserted? When your husband fell, your clan surged forward to avenge their lord. No one fled. It's a comfort to know they were loyal to the end. Keep your eyes open for more of our banners. Search for the Adachi banner. So have a look at all of these bannermen. Masako, over here, an Adachi banner. He was riding down the beach. Then we will continue in that direction. Very appropriate music. I don't recognize him. My sister's husband fought for Kikuchi. Your brother-in-law could be close by. Should we look for him? Right now, I just need to find my sons. One of our banners. My horse. Oh. I almost died with him. What happened? My uncle saved me. We will return the favor. The important thing is, you endured. Jin's original horse. Who is he? This is Masanori. He was too young for battle, but his father was old, so he went in his place. Not only a brave soldier, but a good son. Yes, but where are mine? Nagao warrior. The Nagao archers fell many Mongols. Their skill was unrivaled. If only Sensei Ishikawa had been with them. Your uncle's banner. During the battle, when I saw these colors on a fallen man, I feared it was my uncle. Only fools have no fear of death. They lead up through the rocks. Our banners. Uchikage, a close friend of my sons. He would have stayed by their side. They must be near. This way. They left their dead to rot. Like discarded trash. It's crazy to see the same environment that I ran through. Okay, she's found him. The same environment that we ran through, the beach that we rose 
from when we were slain the first time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yosanari! Strung up like an. Let's get them down. Of course, they had to have the most brutal end, too. Like, they survived. They should be with our family, buried beside their wives and children. The journey to Ariake isn't safe. Is there some place close we could bury them that would honor their sacrifice? The lighthouse. They played there when they were young. But it's been overrun by Mongols. Then we take it back. The lighthouse is this way. Man, for them to have survived long enough for the Mongols to essentially play with them. That's so brutal. It just had to be them. Climbing that tower. So my horse is having performance if issues. They didn't come home at night. I could always find them there, gazing at the stars. You are a good mother. I used to think so, but my children are dead, and I am alive. There is no greater failure. I felt that way when my mother died. That I'd failed her. But you were so young. And she was ill. There's nothing you could have done. Even if that's true, it's a cold comfort. I know. Faster, okay. I wish grass could look like this in every video game. Quite literally the best video game grass of all time. There they are! Mongol swine! You gonna let me do a standoff? Or you were just gonna we 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 running in. Alright. <laughs> Oscar's crazy. She'll just clean him up. Like, <laughs> stay ready. There could be more. Check that blood out. Goddamn. They're coming up there. You go into a fight with Masako. She's gonna kill them all. Yep, I missed. I meant to miss. It was a warning strike. Oh yeah. The tree light. They're relentless. <laughs> 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 Oh, there's the leader. Hello. Looking for me.
I hope we get to learn another technique. I think that's it. That's uh, similar to the. Uh... <laughs> you don't want to use them. <laughs> you don't see anymore. Hold on, I've got some hunting to do. Where the fuck did this guy go? Where the fuck, dude? That sprint. He's gone. Oh, come on. Look at that sprint. Got him. Third time's the charm. <laughs> there you go. Just needed to pump his adrenaline up, make him feel like he had a chance. You know, you just... Oh no, I almost got him. Oh, I almost got him. Boink. Nice. Witness protection. I saw one more and I took care of them. Then it's time. Let's bring my sons. I never let them spend the night here. Even when they grew older. I always called them home. That's what I missed most after my mother passed. Her voice calling for me. Take comfort in knowing she is at peace. They all are. Send word when you need help rescuing Lord Shimura. You've been here for me. I will be there for you. But for now, I'd like to spend some time with my sons. I understand. Be well, Masako. Nice. I wonder if you're able to do this tale after you rescue Lord Shimura, and then maybe the dialogue would be potentially different? A legend grows. The hero of Tsushima. Yes, the Ronin as well. There we go. Our final ghost weapon. The smoke bomb. Incense mixed with black powder creates thick smoke. Enough to blind my enemies. So now we get our smoke bomb. What's pretty crazy is obviously we've got some ones that we haven't unlocked here, but when we have a look at the map, we're still in the first area out of three on the first island. Um, and you tend to get pretty far in things that you've unlocked at that point in time. I guess they want to make sure that you can kind of have a decent repertoire when you're going through the game instead of being like, oh, you get all the way to here and you unlock something and you're like, man, I wish I had that much earlier. So I can kind of uh, appreciate the fact that we do get given quite a lot of tools ahead of time. And doing a tale like that with Masako when um, she's like, you've been here for me, now let me be there for you with the rescue. Is I, that's why it feels like doing these tales beforehand feel much better. Um, I guess with the fact that the legend of the ghost, we are the hero of Tsushima, um, we have already reached our potentially maximum legend status because there's no more um, there's no more ghost weapons to unlock. Obviously, we'll still unlock techniques though. Uh, like our technique points. So I guess I'll be interested to see how the legend uh, changes now, after this point, but who knows, really? I have no idea. Um, while we're at this lighthouse, though, I can light it. So we can now do smoke bombs. We are the hero of all of Tsushima, and we have not even gone past Izuhara yet. But we've definitely made a name for ourselves in the southern region. Yeah, 
Alright, so our legend will still grow. I just wonder if the title and the artwork will continue to change as well. Okay, with that tale, A Mother's Peace, being completed, uh, this will be where we bring this episode of Ghost of Tsushima to a close. And I think what that means is next time we are going to be rescuing our uncle. I think um, while there is still regions and areas here to, to explore, uh, we have done a significant level of the the tales. I assume Kenji will pop up at some point. Obviously, uh, Ishimura and Masako have their ongoing storylines, uh, as well as Yuna. There will probably be more there too. And I assume that will open up after we take on Castle Canada. So that is what we're going to be doing next time proceeding with Jin's journey. Uh, thank you so very much for joining me for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.